Hey everyone, this is Kodemic, and this is a tour of the Polaroid 600 LAN camera. Now you may be uh, thinking, hey, haven't you already toured this camera before? Um, well actually, I toured the uh, close cousin to this thing, the uh, One Step Close-Up. Both of these cameras basically share about the same design, so we kind of swoop around. The uh, camera on the left, the 600, is a little more boxy and stuff, and uh, the most prominent feature is the iconic Polaroid candy stripe there. Um, I got this camera last summer at a uh, antique place, about where I get all of my cameras, and the thing that was unique about this one is um, it actually came with a uh, box. It came mint in the box. This thing was never fired, as far as I can tell. Um, when I bought it, there was a pack of film in it, but the uh, film was so old, all of the, uh, they had been overexposed, and all the film was just kind of a milky brown color, so it couldn't be used. Uh, but as far as I can tell, this thing has never been fired, and it is just in mint condition. The only, it's a little dusty and stuff from sitting on the shelf, but... It's in almost perfect condition, and it has the uh, candy stripe on it, so it's one of my favorite cameras that I actually own. Uh, this particular model was pretty famous for being pretty bare bones. When you look at the uh, One Step Close-Up, a camera I highly recommend getting if you're just wanting to start. Sorry about that, I kind of messed up what I was trying to say there. Now, I was getting into how this Polaroid actually has quite a few unique features, such as the uh, light bar, uh, the uh, dark-to-light sensor, and of course the uh, proximity sensor, so that kind of acts like the uh, zoom. So if you were to uh, move that switch, it would uh, get a piece of plastic over the lens to make it zoom in a little more. Very uh, early analog zooming type stuff. But when you come over here, if we look at this, there's really not much there. It has the uh, typical Polaroid black to a white um, dark to light sensor there. Uh, a little dusty there. I should have cleaned this off before I filmed it. These things really do shine up really well. And then all you have over here is the uh, lens that you look through. The uh, You can see kind of the tunnel that you would look into. Let's see if we can get any see in there at all. Very clear. It looks good. The back, there's nothing. All the Polaroids typically have this uh, lanyard thing. But that's just about it to this camera. Then if you fire, this thing has no film in it. Uh, I've never tested it out. I kind of want to keep it like that. It's just kind of mint, never been fired. Uh, but again, you would pull the mechanism back, and that's how you take a picture. That simple. There's none of this pinch to zoom or uh, any fancy settings like you see on cameras nowadays. Um, if you have one of these cameras, it takes 600 film. Uh, that's where the uh, kind of one step 600 comes from. So, again, these are both in the uh, one-step family. You have the one-step 600 and the one-step close-up. Age-wise, this camera, um, I have to guess, is from either the uh, late mid to late 80s or early 90s. I tried doing a little bit of research on, like, Camerapedia and Polaroid's official website, and I couldn't find an exact date, but that's what I would have to guess it looks similar to this, and I don't exactly remember what I dated the uh, close-up to, but again, really good camera to have. I think I paid maybe $15 for this with a box, but if you look on some camera websites like Etsy or something like that, these are going for about 40 so I'd say it's definitely worth it. Oop, let's see, I kind of forgot about this. Just to show how perfect condition this is in, uh... It's just so clean, the uh, roller bar doesn't look like it's ever been fired, and uh, we can see kind of the guts of the camera in there looking up. It's just such a clean camera in there, and you can really appreciate the uh, parts and mechanisms and how they may have been new. Made in the USA, any dates on there? Hmm. If anyone knows when this camera is from, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below, because I'm not sure... Uh, and then you have, not entirely sure what that is actually. Uh, and then right here is actually another unique thing. So on the uh, close-up you actually have this built-in light bar and you get unlimited lights with that as long as the bulb doesn't burn out. 
But on this, you would have to buy a separate light bar adapter, basically, and it would just plug in up top there. Uh, so, unfortunately, I don't have one of those, so maybe I could get one of those in the future to uh, kind of complete the look. But other than that, this is just a really simple, iconic Polaroid camera with the uh, candy stripe on it. So this has been Codemic, and thanks for watching. If you uh, want more Polaroid tutorial or tours like this, then leave a comment below. Or if you want more uh, tech tutorials or anything else, just comment below. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thanks for watching.